Hello, I'm Marvels and today I am going to go over briefly how to import external data into your save file. Um, there's been a lot of questions about this recently, um, especially with the recent um, updates released for iOS, which rely solely upon the um, external edit function of the save editor. So a couple of prerequisites is you do need to have downloaded the uh, save editor. I've already got it here on the desktop. I've unzipped it. Um, it's just a standard file structure. You also need to have your save um, transferred from your um, device. In this case, I've got a um, an iOS save that I was given. Um, so you can transfer it through iTunes. Um, if you don't know how to do that, please refer to the um, SI Games um, community forum as there is a, a description on how to exactly transfer your save files off your device onto your desktop. So you need to know how to get the save editor and you need to have a save file as well. You also need to have some, you know, some external edits. Today I am going to be using the latest um, updates from FMA, FMH Vibe. Um, I've already downloaded the um, the England updates. Um, you need to need an account, as you can see. I'm not currently logged in, so you do need to have a registered account to be able to download any of the content of our website. Um, I have downloaded them here on my desktop. They're in this zip file. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up the zip file, and within the zip file you'll have a data export um, folder and you need to um, unzip and extract this folder into your save um, your save editor folder so now that we have uh, this you can see quite clearly we have the data export folder in there so once, um, once you've done that part go ahead and open up the save editor and it will ask you where your save is so make sure you on this drop down choose the um, iOS version and as I'm, as I'm working with iOS, iOS that files open it up, it will confirm uh, the original manager's name in this case it's Kyle off the forum you can see the save editor has already created a backup file up here just in case we do anything wrong and this is the save editor now the first thing you need to do is go straight to the external data tab so yeah like I was saying you go to the external, external data tab and you've got two, two options here you've got the export and the import and we're going to go ahead and import straight away you'll get a few uh, warning messages as initially it was quite experimental it wasn't tested but um, this is the second update release from the guys over at FMH5 so um, we've got the process down quite well so go ahead and click yes when this pop-up comes we know that it's imported the external edits um, fine it's completed that section of it and now what it will do is going to output a new save file so go ahead and click yes and it'll ask you where you want to save your new save file. So I'm just going to call it England V1. Click save. And that's all there is to it. If you go back to my desktop, here's my original file without any of the external edits. This file here, England V1.dat, has my external edits applied to it. So the important thing is to remember that when you apply the external edits, it doesn't automatically update the information that the save editor has initially loaded. The save editor has to initial, initially load the first save file to then be able to export out a save file with the edits applied to it. Obviously make sure that you name your save files correctly for um, the application the game to recognise it. I've just named these England just for ease. 
Um, but that's all there is to it. It's, it's, it's simple as that. Once you've created your save file with the external edits, all you need to do is transfer them back across to your device and then load the, load the game up and that should be it. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been informative and any questions go along to the, the forums and ask away.